Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 22. Last episode we went into the um, into the prison we met with the dream visitor and of course once we got out Flakit had um, the inquisitors to kill us. See what's gonna happen anyway. Uh, Lacel still does not believe that like it is no good that's a little bit of our goal as well to make her understand and a few things we're gonna get to see today mm, merely a couple i would i wouldn't say it's gonna be a, a, an episode like the last one full of uh, uh, important lines of dialogue and also a lore confiscated book i didn't see this um, well, yeah, it's another thing about Orpheus. They seem to make a big deal out of um, Orpheus. So, oh yeah, and, and another thing that's going to happen today is the we are going to unlock our first legendary weapon gonna be cool is this it? seems a little underwhelming for a holy relic right blood of the thunder so this is la thunder We've seen it before. It's a deity for the Gith. Uh... Lathanda blesses the rising bountiful sun. About this one. Lathanda bids the setting sun a fond farewell. So this is the setting sun and this is the rising sun. What you got to do... Well, first of all, let's move these things. Because there is a hidden wall here. How do we know that? Well, uh, another one thing that can help you is when you use the free camera and you do this, you see that uh, you can keep going. That usually indicates there is something back there because if, if I do it here, for example, it doesn't let me go. But yeah, first of all, let's move this. And as I said, we are going to go towards getting our first legendary weapon. We haven't had one yet. And... Um, Speaking of weapons, very little have we talked about our sword. This sword we've got since episode 1 and it has served us really well. So... Okay, so the west is over there. Uh, and that's where it comes from, right? It would seem it's the other way around. I am incredibly smart. The there we are. Curious. Curious. Curious is right. Oh. But yeah, there is still, although it's not going to be a, 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 a video full of lore as the last one, we still got a few things awaiting for us today. And it's going to be fairly interesting. Looks untouched. Quite something to have escaped notice all this time. So, Secret Chambers of Lathander. Um, the thing here is, you see these doors have some sort of, um, well, what, what would this be? It's blocked. And we gotta hit these things, the energy source, in, a, in order to, to open them. There we go. Now, this is the tricky part. Uh, because those things are traps you can dis uh, disarm them the thing is we do not have will and uh i think we got tools 
However, it's a high, high-ish number. It's about 15 or so. What happens? This thing have a pulse that it's like that in front of them. And if you step on it, you're going to go flying. So the right thing to do, I think it would be trying to, um, to go this way. Hopefully they don't step on it. Okay, we got one of those here. There we go. That's the door that was here. We just broke it. We still have that one. And this one as well. The crystal is down here. As you see. So, it would be a better idea if I go on my own. Hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully not stepping on it. Let's see if I can jump. Oh. That's it, look. No. <laughs> Scary. Scary stuff. So we want to break this in order to open the door. And as I said, you can just disarm them. Having a... Having the rogue, or in our case, wheel with the charisma and the tools, but being the case that we don't, we do not have it. Um, gonna have to do a little parkour, maybe use turn-based mode for that. Can jump here and then then just move this way. There we are. And I, I guess I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do the same way for everyone. One true way. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> because it makes the noise. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Oh, the tur the turn base mode ended itself. Nice and easy. I think it's that I actually forgot to put the turn base mode. <laughs> okay, that's it. Nothing hurts anymore. Off we go. There is a few things that can happen here if you may, well, if you don't everything the way that I've done it, or you follow that sort of path on the story where they give Yankee stuff, you were given a thing you can put in in this thing, insert items. You see, if you didn't, you are probably gonna try and pick it up, and a lot of traps are gonna be in place. Something you could do it's just to place them individually, your 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 party members. And destroy the traps one by one. Um, the crystal, the energy source is here. But we have the thing, so we're gonna, gonna put it in. Let's see if I can find it. We got lots of rubbish. Rubbish. Uh. I cannot see. Where is it? This thing. Don't master's crest. You put it in. There we go. It's 
a nice morning star. Our first legendary weapon, lads. Attention to this object, the blood of the thunder. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Anyway. The Thunder's Blessing. Once per long rest, when your hit points are reduced to zero, you regain 2 to 12 hit points. Allies within 9 meters also regain 1 to hit points. 1 to 6 hit points. And also has the La Thunder's uh, Light. Shed holy light in a 6 meter radius in combat. Uh, the fiends, the undead standing in the light, are blinded. Unless they succeed the constitution saving throw. And also the Sunbeam. Then the spell, which is, uh, well, need I, need I explain that? Uh, we could actually use it because, uh, well, it says it's less damage, but I'm just explaining. You could actually use this with, uh, with a build like this, but obviously this is going to go to, to Shadowheart. Wits and blades the stick we got already, the stuff we got, it's perfectly fine, it's cool. But this is a legendary weapon. You can see it glows. That's the, the blessing. And we got the zombie. You can see the the size of it. It's insanity. Let me see if I can show it. It's kinda weird when I am when I am like that. See all of that. It's really good. Looking ahead. And that's about it Quite for this area. Guarded treasure. Good job we got past those protections. Must have been a precious artifact. Let's be sure to make good use of our prize then. This is deactivated now. And I didn't read this. Thunder's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return. Well, now. we ignored that sign, didn't we? And that's it for this area. What's left to do, it's basically we are now enemy to the Yithianki. Lay self as well. Uh, we're being haunted now. Did I... Did I check on this? I did not. So, we shall see how we proceed. Uh, hopefully, nobody knows <laughs> of the slaughter that happened here. But I would say we did everything in this area. And we should get going to everything that has to do with, um, with Moonrise Towers. And no, not Moonrise Towers. There. Oh, there you go. That's the Inquisitor. Uh, I was saying, I forgot. With the... Enchanted Underdark Woods sort of thing. But yeah, uh, they know, so... Well, I guess we just get fighting then. First fire of today. Got the wolves. Oh, and there's two more. I am really low HP, but the thing is, I have we haven't rest, and I uh, I don't think we got any other any more healing. I dropped my sword. Fuck. Where's she gone? Drop the pike as well. You're the one that has more HP, I guess. The parry, I forgot. Can I s give it to her while in combat? It would seem I can. Please. Mm. 
what I what I really want is to um, well yeah I can't do anything it's feared I got the preserved life but it's in area if I do this I guess I heal the wolf probably not a good idea so hmm would really like to try this out, but I guess I'd be hitting Lysel. Good old Firebolts. Always fails. Let's see. That's alright. Can't do anything else, really. Okay, let's see. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, stupid fear. I'm down now. Oh, he's near the cliff. You motherfucker. Brown. That's what you get. Okay, now we're making some damage. Provokes attack opportunity. I wanna risk it because... Well, it... That wasn't a good idea anyway. I'm down. I'm, I am in the floor there. It's laser gonna die too. Count on me. Disarm. Three HP lol. I might get closer over there. Need to act fast. Mm, that's not not yet. I get a little closer as well. I reckon Karlak can kill them. Oh, and Lysel got a a healing for herself, I believe. So yeah, I, I I I knew I was not gonna heal anything. Let's try this. Right, I still cannot hit her because I use my things and I'm beside the wolf. She's down as well. I get a disadvantage for the proximity. Yep. Come on, kill her. There we are. In position. My faith will protect me. So Do that and cannot get any closer.
shit. So the idea is to get her up. And I cannot do anything else, obviously. But I'm gonna push him because now Shard is gonna use the preserve life. And we all and the dog is also there. Oh my god, anyway. Let's use it anyway. There you go. Look at those numbers. My fucking sword. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a this is a terrible fight to start uh, the episode. At least I can do that. No, I can't. No, she's too grave to do that. Let's see. Sunbeam. Not bad, eh? That is not bad at all. Let's see now. 1 HP. And... This... This one right here. What path lies before me? She's now she can't make it over there. In my best interest. Oh, what is this? There we go. Very well. Okay. Let's see. Well, it's one point better than our than our sword, even in the minimum. Uh, but yeah, I think we should change it from now. This sword, guys, the Everborn Blade. We've had it since episode one. It's been really good. But yeah, it's uh, it's about time we start worrying about ourselves with our build, you know. Lay cell and especially car like are way better, like way ahead. However, it seems like I'm gonna be sending everything to camp, so we sell it later. However, our concern is that uh, hmm. we are still um, well, we're gonna basically be haunted all the time see, uh, in this in area. Just... It's pretty clear that the Yithianki are not gonna uh, let us go from here. So I'm guessing every everyone else, the trainers and the the people that were here, are basically going to give us a fight. So we should probably rest. We cannot rest right now. See the map is red. Oh, these are the guys that were at the beginning of the of the area in episode 19, I believe. Poor souls, they died. 
Um, Be well. Thinking about it, there is a lot of people here, so I don't know what we should go, what we should do. Has taken its toll. These are the initiators, and over there, everyone is on guard. Everyone is waiting for us. That's the exit. It's a shame. Oh. Okay, let's let's fight them. Oh, they were four. I thought what? They are not four. They are five. I thought they were two. Uh, anyway, let's try and bring them here with us. So this is the trader. What a shame. No, this is a trader. I would have liked to um, to sell everything. So yeah, let's attack to the distance. Let's make them come here. Probably I should. Breathe deep and move. I should move ahead. And everyone else go a little behind. Time and probably strike. laser with me. Taking position. Basil's got dexterity. She should be pretty good with that. Uh, if she doesn't miss, of course. But yeah, it seems like it's going to be a lot of fighting today. This is more of a Githyanki slaughter. Probably I should be attacking the marksman. My little trick. If she doesn't miss this one. There you go. One less. And the other one is way behind. What's the plan? Well, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Oh, he's coming. Well, Lacell didn't have no weapon. Oh, but that was insane damage. And the thing is... Ah, oh, that is not good at all. That is not f good at all. The thing is, they think he have two turns. That's true. I have to start using the potions. That's not good. Ah, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, that's not very useful either. I am fury. I am death. And they all healed. How? Hopefully they give us a chance, please miss. There's still the other archer. Okay, let me try. I don't have anything else to heal. Uh, what do you think if we try with the maze? It's not gonna do any damage, is it? Well, it did more than I expected, quite frankly. They sells down. Probably I am. I am too. Karlag is ready to fire this. Ooh, okay. Okay.
they still not... Oh my god, the parry, I forget. I always forget. Again. I thought it was going to be easier, quite frankly. I'm dead. It's all in Karlak's hand now. Don't do that, don't. You've got to be kidding. What else? Okay, Karlak's out. What? Ah, oh, because of the... Uh, yeah. Disadvantage because of the proximity, I reckon the damage still better. There you are. The good thing about this is that we get to loot the merchant, so probably it's it's good. Can't give up. Let's get one of me up, one of our mates. Proceed to attack the exact same guy that I revived. Come on, do the spear thing. There you go. Once again. Shit. Push him. Push her. And you, well, do the, do the firebox. Motherfucker. Finally. Tactical. There you are, 4 HP. Got to focus. Let's do this. Hmm. That would have been cool. Imagine. Come on. Very well. Making let's let's revive oh. everyone else. And from here we are going to um, to go rest because we have nothing. <laughs> we don't have spells. We, <laughs> we got nothing. So let's see. Quite a lot of stuff, as expected. Now, this bow... Damn, it's good to be alive. 
It's probably, yeah. That's the bow they took from... From Laysel. I got you the Yankee bow and, and, and more stuff. But in the meanwhile... Gonna be doing that. A lot of stuff to 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 look there. We're gonna get there. Don't worry about it. Very well. Um, before continuing, we should. We should rest, and we're gonna rest here. We've got absolute nothing. All's well that ends, not as bad as it could have. Hey, it's been a while since we talked with him. Let's see. Oh, Karlak has a line. No one else? What's going on? Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> hey, soldier. Oh, it's there. <laughs> well, I'm not feeling so good. My engine is getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If we should. Fixed. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, we'll find him. Yeah, I'm we sure should be we doing will. that. But, in case we don't, a bit of advice. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself nah. on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days. <laughs> Very well then. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we, we should uh, go and seek for that guy already. It's been a while since we... We've cut Infernal Iron. It's in the chest, actually. No, it's here. Will's got it. Infernal Alloy, Infernal Iron. We found those a while ago. We should... We should have gone already. Very well. The dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. What happens if I let him keep it? Oh, I still get it. Very well. Let's get out now. We still have lots of things uh, going on around us. We need to sort it. This is the people at the exit. On guard, ready. We are waiting for us. Mm, there is those. Those are the initiators. And this is the kid, isn't he? No, 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 it isn't. The kid's not here, is he? No. What do I say? Do we do we give it a try? I mean, over there, it's more people, I think. Oh, got too close. I actually didn't mean to. I, wa I wanted to, s to see them. But, no matter. We'll get through this. Good idea, Carlock. Just that. 
I do not want to use the frenzy yet. Classic 2 HP. Right, so it's pretty clear that Shadowheart should be up front with me. She can handle a lot with the shields. Nothing will stand in my way. As for me. Fronting a little bit. Let's kill them. And I will ascend. Oh, but yeah, of course, uh, she has to be melee. So taking position. This is going to be a a Githyanki slaughter. Nice. Like we are now enemies of the state. Hey, where are you going? Oh, there is. Uh, yeah, I didn't see them. Yeah, like everyone we encounter, is, uh, it's going to kill us. So don't try and kill us. We really have no other choice. Hopefully none of these guys uh, do the thing where... They drop my weapon. Sort of thing. Uh... Guy, and well, they are all the same. Missed, nice. Mm, I should, I should probably put the ring. I got a ring that avoids already that much. Saved it. Oh, this guy is way harder. The other one had more HP. I probably should cast the the frenzy. No choice but to keep going. This guy is ready to parry. I don't know if I should do this. Parry always. There you go, one less. No time to Gonna head for this one. Oh, fuck. At least she missed. Kill these guys. I reckon I cannot move.
Ah, it's too, it's too up. Well. Damn it, dude. Still? Too bad. I can shoot him, but I cannot throw the, um, the spear. Where do I go from here? Can't slow down. It's not good. He can throw me. I am fury. I am death. <laughs> nice. Almost dead. Got to press on. These two are having a hard time. <laughs> I'll do it later. Motherfucker. Where'd you gone? Poor fucker. Got it. Lol. There we are. Another fight. Let's go. Very well. Finally. This fight's Take a while. I don't think we're gonna go on a on a on a killing spree uh, against all the Yithyanki. Quite frankly, that is uh, just lots of them. I mean, the loot and the experience might be worth it, but might not be worth it for the sake of the series. You know. We might as well be all day here. Which is not the idea. But yeah, let's just... Loot these people. And from here... Uh, yeah, I reckon we are not gonna... We are not gonna kill everyone. Maybe I'm gonna go back and, and clean. But... Probably it's not a good idea. Um, it's probably not a good idea for the video. Mine's never quiet. So let's get out of here. And we should uh, we should be proceeding to um, the Underdark uh, Forest, the Enchanted Forest. I forgot the name. But, you know, it's the the cursed forest. Um, quite a lot of stuff. Oof. No, not that. We don't want that. Anyway. How to track an elephant. Nice. 
Uh, and then there we are going to to see on a more real boss. The first real boss, maybe? We haven't really had one of those. Uh, very important or, I don't know, slightly difficult. Very nice. Let's go. This is uh, exit as well. This is not where we came from, but the other way it's uh, blocked with Githyanki warriors that wants to kill us. And you can kind of... Can you? No, I'm thinking of something else. No, 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 I think you can. You can sneak from uh, past here instead of going the other way. Uh, so, and also, need to mention, this whole area, this whole thing, it's done. We are done with this. The good thing about it is that we got to see all the Githyanki lore and the the thing with, uh, with Lakith. And we should get going to... Mm, yes, uh, Greenforge. From Greenforge... I, we can move towards more act to wait what what the fuck well i don't know why we're resting maybe we cannot travel from there uh when i get there and try uh, another thing but when things like this happen and i can't and i can't concentrate on what what i wanted to say before so yeah we are gonna go from the green forge to the underdark which is not an act two thing you know it's like we're going back but from there we are uh, we can advance towards more act two related stuff so yeah i don't know why we're resting let's see things are gonna happen it seems yep Whoa, no. They follow with us. Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. What are you on about? Don't trust him. Skakek Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Uh, go on. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. What? Wait. Bring it to fruition. Oh, guys, you're gonna have to excuse my, my, my lack of English. Fruition. Uh, oh. So he wants to help? What the hell? Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally. Protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. This is Instead, boss. You've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. 
Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. Shares Caress. The fate of my people. Caress's Caress. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. God's forsake. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. Oh, God. Uh, I kill him? Black is redemption. I don't know if you can try and do that. That would be cool to see at least. Uh, he speaks true of the safe disk. You need to trust him. I served Blacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles. Yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. Finally. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. Take I don't know. This. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Like its gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. I don't know. Oof. Very well. So, a few things be added. Oh, before we talk to Lacell. A few things be added to this. And is that. Can we trust this guy? Because. This is Voss. And we've read about him before. This is the one who supposedly, according to the legends, he's the one that killed Orpheus, the, the prince of the comet, right? But now he's uh, some. He's like a double agent. So yeah, we shall see. I really hope you guys remember uh, everyone in Act One that we met that uh, mentioned Baldur's Gate or encountering again in Baldur's Gate because we are going to do the entire of Act Two before Baldur's Gate, <laughs> before getting to the city. And yeah, I really hope you've been paying attention because we're going to see a lot of that on Ravel once we get there. But yeah, let's see what she's got to say. Are you convinced? Vlakith cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. 
what does ascension entail we we know what this is already so this is uh basically becoming a dragon rider right with a silver sword and everything uh what's called black a tyrants does this uh, do, does this mean you agree I'd never thought Vlacketh a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, but I didn't like, a you champion, see? a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlacketh consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlacketh to true godhood. Right. Uh, and if Voss is wrong, if his claims are wrong and, Vl and Vlacketh are real? Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Very well. True paladin feeling there, like... Yeah, true warrior. Uh, who is the one in the prison, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first... I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlacketh's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Very well. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlacket's eyes are upon us. Very well. Uh, yeah, we cannot talk about anything else. So that's interesting. Voss, a double agent. Well, what we read so far, it's uh, the boss uh, is responsible for killing Orpheus. But who knows anymore, you know? We cannot know. Last episode, we finished everything related to the to the lore on Black Kids and then Githyanki costumes. It's, uh, it's, it's been nice. This episode could have offered uh, some more probably, but cannot do in in more than two, I don't know, less than three hour videos or something like that. Which I don't think will be a thing any sooner here. However, we did a TP out of, um, to the Greenforge, I believe. Because from here, uh, from the Greenforge, we are going to go to that curse under dark woods and a lot of things are going to happen there we are going to face a more real boss let's say more a uh, contundent boss fight and it's gonna be a start unraveling as i explained in the last episode probably more and more stuff so it's really interesting and i'm really excited to get through with it but See in the time, I should probably end it here. We're going to make a save. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much once again. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.